Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2.5. That's right, it's a special point five episode, mostly because I forgot to fill in the intro for episode three correctly, and I've named them all in the wrong order and everything else. So we're inserting this one in and it's gonna be seamless, no problem. So in this episode, we're gonna work on our lobby screen. Uh, so we can go into from the main menu into our lobby and showcase all the players that have connected on the side of the screen. So let's jump straight in. So the first thing we'll do with our lobby design is that we need to show who is actually in the lobby with us. Uh, at the moment we've got nothing in our lobby at all. Um, so if we push play for example and go host match, it'll take me to a screen showing a default UI, which we don't want. So let's go through that process. The first thing we're gonna do is set up the appropriate files that we need for our menu. So we're gonna go in here and create the lobby game mode. And we're also going to want to make the lobby controller. So when you log into a game mode, it'll assign you to a lobby controller. Um, we need to tell our lobby game mode though to use this one. And also we want it to use its own HUD class. Much like how we've got a HUD class for the main menu, we want one for the lobby as well. So let's go ahead and create that. And search for HUD. And we'll do HUD class. That'll be our lobby HUD. Okay, so then we go into our game mode and we're going to assign our HUD class to our lobby HUD, our player controller to our lobby controller, and default pawn we're going to set to none. File, and we're going to close out for now. Okay, so now if we go back, go to our lobby menu map and open it up, it'll, we'll need to attempt to override the default game mode to use the lobby game mode instead so you just go to the world settings tab which you don't see over here just go over to window and you'll turn it on with the world settings option and in there you'll see game mode override and you can choose on there which game mode you want to override with and you choose the lobby game mode and now if i go into the main menu again and push play and go host i'll take it to a different uh, take me to the same map but then we're not going to get the default hud because we've got a different game mode hud class and all that etc Okay, so now we've got that, we need to show some sort of UI for our lobby. And the UI is going to consist of some map selection stuff, some game mode selection stuff, and more importantly, the player connection information on the right hand side here. So that's what we're going to focus on today is getting that player connection information appearing here. So let's create the folder for our lobby UI. Okay, and we're going to go in there and much like how we did with the menu UI we had a main menu uh, interface which you have it all together we're going to have something very similar but for the lobby one now because it's going to have the same options at the top here we're just going to have this duplicated for our lobby so I'm going to right click and duplicate that and that'd be lobby menu interface and I want to put that into the correct folder so let's just put that lobby UI and do move here okay so there's our lobby menu interface now this thing will be a little bit different as we don't need a quick match host match or find match on here uh, but we will be also having some other options on here instead so on the uh, widget switcher going on down here we've got the main menu play screen we're going to swap this out for our lobby play screen so let's go to our folders and we're going to create a lobby play screen and this is the one we want to show instead so we can go and design to have our window on the left or the right side here so let's just do a um and actually let's make it a separate widget let's keep it a bit more tidy widget here and do lobby players connected and let's just design the look of this one so it's not going to need a canvas panel Instead, we're just going to have a normal border and border right down. Right. And inside this border, we're going to change the color of it to be sort of black see through color that we've been using. And in there, we're going to have a tile bar saying how many players are connected in total and then a list of all the players. So let's do a vertical box. And inside that vertical box, we're going to have another border. 
and inside that border there's going to be some text. Okay, this border here is going to be not white but completely black. So I'm going to change the brush color here to full black with no uh, change to the opacity. So it's completely opaque. Now be acting as a header bar for this window. And the text we're going to say here is going to be players connected. Obviously you can jazz this up as much as you like with different images, graphics, whatever you want to use, you can do. Uh, we're not worried about that just yet for this. I'm going to change that design on screen so we can see what it's going to look like. So let's go into our folder, uh, sorry, our workbox here. And this is also going to contain a list of all the players that are going to be attached to the game here. So we need another workbox inside of this. So inside our first vertical box we've got a border and another vertical box the second vertical box here we want to make a variable so ticket is variable up top and we're going to change the name of this one to player list okay like yeah, that right so this one will be set to fill and that will fill up the available main, remaining space and so if you want to see what it looks like if i change it to custom on screen It looks something like this. Okay, so next we need to put in all the different players. Now what we're gonna do is make a separate widget, which is another sub widget inside of this one. So let's go out here and create another widget class. Go lobby player card. And this player card here, we're gonna get rid of the canvas panel. And in its place, we're going to have a horizontal box. And the horizontal box is going to consist of the players sort of like level or rank, their name, and whether or not they're ready to start the match. So let's put in a image. Like that. Some text. For their name. And more text here for their ready status. Let's just design what this is going to look like. So image here, we don't want to stretch at all. We can keep it center center. The name, we want it to fill the available space. So we're going to hit click fill. And the last bit of text is going to say ready. And we'll make these all center align. Well, like so. Be it ready here, we're going to put some padding on this so it doesn't get pushed right to the edge here. So we can go to the left and right and put in say 30 there and 30 there okay our name here we're going to put text we're going to have 30 on our left and 30 on the uh, no leave it right as empty and then on the image here we'll put 30 on our left okay so we've got the rank name and raise status i'll change the raise status to a different color just so it stands out a little bit well okay so um, we're then going to place these into our scene, but first we need to make these variables so we can change the name of them as players join. Let's click on the text block here, go is variable, and we're gonna change that one to player name text. Meanwhile, whilst we're here, we might as well name our image here, player rank image. And we'll change this one here layer ready status again that should be variable okay we hit compile on that and save that now we need to set up the code for this we're going to go to the graph and on the pre-construct we're going to drag in a new variable for our name so we're going to player name and be a text field and we're editable and expose on spawn. We're then going to drag this out, get, and then we're going to drag out the player name text, get, and then do set text. Goes in. So, okay, so that'll do for now. Obviously, there's a lot more to go on this, but we'll write about that later in another part. So, that'll do us for now. Um, we'll put some default value in here. So we can go to player name and put in default value. So you can see it's a default value here. 
Um, overall, I'm going to give this whole horizontal box here some padding as well. So it's a bit hard to see in this view, so I'm going to change that to desired on screen. So I can see what I'm dealing with. And we're going to go and give this whole thing padding. So I'm going to go to the top of the root here and go to padding here. I'm going to change padding in the top. It is 30. Bottom here to 30. Compile and save. So now to see what this looks like, I would always recommend going into the connected, uh, like the, the widget you're going to add things to, and add the empty widgets into it to a dummy data. Let's see what it looks like in concept. So we're going to search for it in here. Our lobby player card. Okay, so there's the player one. Then, okay, you get player two, player three, player four, player five, player six, player seven, and player eight. Okay, so you get to see all of those players sitting there. And if you like the look of this, great, you're done. Obviously, you can always come back and retweak this and change it how you want it to appear. So they're all our lobby cards ready to go. We just need to delete these because we don't uh, have all of them here. Yeah. And we now want to go to the graph on our lobby connected players. So on our play, lobby players connected here, we're going to have a new uh, function or event in here rather. And we'll call this one update player list. And the input for this is going to be an array of structs. Now this struct is going to contain all the information we need about our players. So let's go ahead and create this struct. Now I'm going to go in here and create a new folder for data. New folder data and in here we're going to right click and create blueprint structure for the um player data so i'm putting f which is the sort of standard thing you do for struct so f underscore and then we'll put in player info and we'll go ahead and design this so the player info here consists of a few things the uh, first thing we're going to need to do is put in obviously their name uh, but there'll be other things as well, such as the level, which character they're choosing, maybe, whether or not they're ready, and so on and so forth. So let's put these various things we will need here. So we'll do player name. Be a string. Uh, new valuable here. We'll go level. Be an integer. Or rank, whatever you want to call it. Um... And I'll tell you what we'll actually just have is ready. We won't worry about character stuff just yet. We'll change that to a boolean. Okay, so you've got the player info set up like so. Close that. And back on our players connected here, we're going to go to the inputs and create an input here for player list. And this is going to be an array of those structs. So just do F underscore and then do player info. And make that an array and what we're going to do is go through each one of these and pass them through and add our player cards to them the first thing we do is clear what previously was actually inside of our list here so we're going to drag out the player list variable and we're going to do clear children and empty that there so the idea is, is that the game mode will call this later on and we'll give it all the players that are connected so when players leave or join the match, it will wipe the whole slate clean, rejig it for the new player. So go into that like that, and we're going to promote the player list here to a variable. So we've just got the copy of it. Like so. And then we're going to put this into a for each loop. And in this for each loop, we're going to go through each player information that we have, and we're going to create a player card. So we're going to do create widget. And we'll choose the lobby player card. Now it's going to ask for player name because that's what we're doing. But we're going to switch that now over to this struct. And now we have this. Go to our lobby player card graph. And we're going to add here player info. We're going to search for our F player info struct. And that'll be editable and expose and spawn as well instead of the player name. And we're going to delete that entirely. Now we're going to drag out play info, get that, and we're going to break this open to get hold of our contents. 
And we're going to drag the player name into this in text here. Do for now. So we need to go back to our player connected. Refresh this node here by right clicking refresh. And you can plug the array element straight into the player info. So we'll give it that information over to our player card. Then we just need to add it to our player list. So let's drag out the player list variable, which is now a vertical box. I'm going to do add child to vertical box. Um, excellent. Okay, so that'll do here. We're going to hit compile there and hit save. We're then going to go over to our lobby menu interface and we're going to add that to the screen here. So, oh, sorry, not that interface, sorry, the lobby play screen. Do it here. Uh, so, let's add the connected players. Back our panel here. And we're just going to change the size of it. See fit. And we're going to anchor it here to the right hand side of the screen. If you hold down Control and Shift, it will auto align it for you. I'm um, just going to give it a little bit of offset on the X here. So we do negative 100. And there we go. Okay. And hit compile and save that. Okay, so there is our players connected. Um, we then go to our lobby menu interface and we're going to switch out our main menu play screen here for our lobby play screen. So just search for lobby. And you'll see play screen select it and then go down to main menu play screen and you can replace it with the one you've got selected yeah and that is it and there we have it we've now got a working lobby screen ready to take on functionality which we'll make in our next episode in episode three you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash ryan lady we can catch all my videos early before anyone else Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. I came here to prove it. I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get ready to